it's time now to dig into the uh, SATA program, Security Aware Edu Education, Training and Awareness. And during this short video, we're going to be looking at security education. So one way to uh, start this process is to come in and to uh, look at formal education. Can you take a college course, perhaps such as the one you're currently taking, um, at an institution of higher uh, learning, you know, to provide formal coursework in information security. So uh, security education starts there. There's a number of college courses that are gonna be out there. Uh, they're gonna be helpful in meeting that need. The other thing to look at and has been very successful within the security market is to look at security certification. And we actually cover that later in a uh, different chapter in a different video, but uh, CAI, SSP certification is kind of the golden standard. So taking security courses, getting a PhD or master's degree in security are all possible now. Um, the other solution is to look at certification. The CISSP is the gold standard within that certification space that will provide this kind of broad understanding of security and of uh, security education. So uh, providing mechanisms for your employees to take advantage of those uh, options are things you want to encourage within a particular organization. Let's now look at a knowledge map as a mechanism for security education and how you might employ that within your security team. So what do I mean when I say a, a knowledge map? Well, a knowledge map is just a mapping between particular positions and particular knowledge sets that the uh, individuals need to have to be effective within their job. And so it's a, uh, a very uh, graphical approach to uh, looking at security education. Well, you know what, enough words about this, let's look at one. Here you go, here's a uh, security knowledge map or an information security knowledge map. And in this case, you can see some uh, job uh, titles, some uh, common roles that they may serve, and then the knowledge areas that they need uh, to understand to be effective uh, within those positions. And so uh, what this allows you to do is to then start to build an education program that allows uh, folks to develop the appropriate level of the depth of knowledge and uh, of knowledge coverage so that they can work within uh, different uh, roles. All right, well, let's explore this a little bit more. So uh, I indicated before this idea of depth of knowledge. Uh, there are typically uh, several uh, taxonomies that are out there. This one uh, uh, listed here talks about understanding, accomplishment, proficiency to mastery of a uh, particular um, uh, subject matter. Another one that's very popular uh, right now in education and has been for probably the last 30 years is Bloom's taxonomy which really does the uh, exact same idea. It, it, it builds from understanding to uh, analysis and uh, application to the ability to synthesize and build new information uh, based on existing uh, bodies of information. So depth of knowledge is gonna be important. You're gonna have to uh, look at this. And the second bullet talks about <clears throat> some of those skills and knowledge that you're gonna require may not be offered as a course, but again, that's changing. You can actually find complete PhD programs in computer security these days um, and, and to build that through a formal education, but certification does work and CISSP is a great certification program uh, to look at, uh, in my opinion, the gold standard right now. All right, uh, once you've identified some knowledge areas, hopefully through that knowledge map, you should start to build, your, you may start building your own courses uh, to support uh, that material, uh, or you may start evaluating courses uh, that are commercially uh, uh, offered uh, to uh, strengthen uh, the education of your uh, various employees. And if, if you're into that course design, here's just a, a quick overview, but again, a lot of this probably makes sense given you're all students. Uh, this idea that you're gonna progress from kind of introductory courses to more technical 
uh, information to very technical information. You see that in the middle of the slide with that intro to InfoSec, the technical InfoSec, and then moving to firewall uh, technology. You're going to have some prerequisites along the way so that you have the prerequisite knowledge uh, to handle those different courses. And then learning objectives that are associated uh, with each of those courses. So <laughs> kind of in summary, when you're thinking about education and you're thinking about education within the context of a uh, security education training and awareness program. This is probably the most difficult uh, part to achieve. You're trying to answer the question why and and that's 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 a difficult question to ask and so you're trying to change how employees view the world. Again difficult to do. Uh, lots of security courses out there, lots of certification uh, uh, programs out there. There are programs that you can offer yourself in terms of education programs uh, within your uh, company. They're very effective if you can make them active. Get the employees involved in the educational process. <coughs> Allow them to co-author that course with you and you can uh, build a security uh, education program. Well enough from now. Next video is going to look at Security training, not answering the question of why, but answering the question of how.